the state made an application to review the terms of uh, bond released that uh, released uh, Babo Wino on the grounds that one, there was no fixed cash bail deposit. Two, there were no fixed sureties. And therefore, Babu was released without any cash bail or any surety. Thirdly, the money that Babu is supposed to deposit in court is supposed to go for medical compensation. On our part, we did put an argument that what is before the court is the insensitivity of the state not taking up the life of the victim, the DJ, very seriously. Who is going to meet the bill now that has gone to 4.5 million shillings? Babu has met that bill, one, because the DJ is our friend, a personal friend. Two, Babu as a leader, he has a responsibility to ensure life. Third, we have told the court that the decision from the lower court was informed on the complexity of the situation that faced the magistrate. It is similar to when a motorist, a driver driving on the road, accidentally knocks a pedestrian. They take those pedestrians to hospital. They meet those bills. Are they going to be charged that they have interfered with the victim or with the witness? The courts normally look at them in favorable terms because they are pro-life. Babu is pro-life. We have told the state and we've told the court that as of now, the state has not paid even a penny to the treatment of this person. Their intention is Babu's bond is cancelled, there will be no money to be paid to Nairobi Hospital, the DJ will die, they will succeed for charging Babu for an offence of murder. Is it fair that the state sits and decides to institute or instigate a death when the state's role is to preserve life? Under the social contract theory, the, the state is supposed to preserve life. By paying, they have refused to pay. Babu is ready to pay. So we have told the court that let that be the position and we save the life of the young man. The ruling will be on the 27th of February before Justice Kimaru.